this is part 5 angular 14 series and in this uh, video i will explain how to implement the login functionality with you know live api endpoint okay and uh, also uh, i will implement the remember me option uh, where if you select remember me checkbox then the system will remember the user name i mean login id so if you open the next time url so it will auto populate the login uh, name or you can say username and you just need to put the password go to the visual studio code and open you know that uh, login component here so in the inside this login component and first of all what i need to do pass this login input data to the backend okay so to achieve that i need to create one custom service and this that service will be responsible to send login input data to the server with the help of you know http client module let's uh, create that first okay so uh, here inside this uh, account folder we will have you know login and forward password okay so for that i will create one common service for both so for that uh, let me create account dot service dot ts file and create this and the constructor will have one injection that is called http client and http client c here it is not coming http client you know service that is you know predefined uh, from angular only so what you need to do first of all you need to go to this login module and here i will register that http client actually it uh, not coming so let me add it uh, manually http client module I copy this class name and here import from angular common slash this is part of http library so i've been added this now go there and control spacebar then http client we can have that service http client service now let me create one in a public method get that is called login and this login will consider the one model that is called input and this type will be username which will be a string and password will be a string as well okay or you can do this thing you can create one you know folder inside this account that is called models and inside this model let me create a login interface dot ts file let me check whether we have already or not go to the login component huh. so this one also i will replace with this uh, interface export interface actually because uh, we are creating this interface as because of type checking okay i login and uh, sorry this one format this code and these two parameter is mandatory and also i will have the remember me option which will be a type of boolean now go to this login component here login input i will replace with 
that I log in and here it is showing it is not having email instead of email we have the username and also it is throwing an error that is called remember me is there but let me put this an, as an optional because some user wants some user may not so that is why that parameter would be purely optional and uh, go to the account service again and here i will replace this i login so that actually i created uh, that interface to reuse as well so now what i'll do uh, let me call http client dot uh, i will use post method this post me method actually is asking me to put url so my login url would be this one this one would be the login url and the data next is the body so body for body i need to send this input and when it is posted then i will return these whole things so now let me hover on this uh, login method here you can see observable it is returning observable of object okay now save all the files close all the files and go to the login component here uh, we have changed uh, this email to username so i will replace that part and placeholder i will i would like to put enter username and for password password where is that placeholder enter password now let's save it and also i will register one event here that is called submit so once user click on submit button or uh, press enter then this form will be posted so let's say post login form to the login component ts file and here into the definition of that login post form and i will you know inject that my login account service account uh, service this account service dot is having login method and it is asking me to share the input which will be i login type already we have that login input and then once we you know post it then we need to subscribe so remember here until and unless you do subscribe uh, with that observable the call or http call won't happen to backend okay i will show you uh, uh, with the uh, inside the browser how it is going on let me on a subscribe it first uh, that is called let's say api response is coming and i will do the console dot log here now save all the changes open the browser login double zero okay something uh going wrong check what is going wrong there go to console here circular dependency in di detected for account service okay uh, okay account service uh, in injection error account service okay go to the account service here so instead of this provided in actually it is not find out the where this account service will be injected so i will you now register it inside this login service as a provider providers account service now let's save it okay now error has gone 
okay so email address email address not like you know this is not like email address this is username so username can be email address or user id or anything so let me change this label username let's save it so let me put this and password okay invalid email address That's because we actually validate this in a field with email pattern let me remove that part this and password is this okay now if i click sign in then what will happen uh, let me put a debugger here so that you can understand properly login dot component increase details okay. now click login then if i check mouse over in this login input i can have that username and password this one now just do continue maybe after some time yeah now we got the response see api response is coming uh, with an object and this object is having data expire scene id and message okay so this message will show uh, in ui uh, to the user and this data is nothing but a token okay so this is basically a you know bearer token and this token you can say jwt token so i have implemented that jwt token to my api site and this token uh, how do we use for the subsequent request subsequent request in the sense if we go to login page to the dashboard page and after dashboard there will be a multiple operations like you know load user details some other operation also for that you know we need to pass this token for each and every subsequent you know request http request otherwise api won't allow you to fetch the data okay so how do we achieve that let's see okay now this response is having this data experts in that message okay here i will go and let's say to create one property that is called api response and here the data type would be by default any and value would be by default an object okay so this api response will have this api response object okay now I'll copy this and here I'll print the message. API is response dot message and here this section would be visible if we have the response message. Okay. Otherwise, unnecessary this element you not know, uh, will be blocked in the DOM structure, but that we don't want. Always this section would be auto populated based on the message okay so this message will be there now save it and let's try to log in again this one e to e one now this time i'm just you know hitting enter on the keyboard see now login successful please wait for sometimes to redirect okay so this message actually coming from api site now this message actually i want this message to be in green color okay so how do we achieve that now if i go to the network here i will filter uh, i don't uh, want to see all the http requests i want only the uh, you know exact real you know xhr request okay so the for this this login if i click and if i go to the preview here i can have the uh, properties and all so now let me based on this id if login fails then this id uh, will come you now with minus one okay so based on this id i will change the class name here okay how do we achieve that let's 
remove this uh, as we know ng plus so one directive is there and this directive uh, you know inside this directive i can you know write the expression here let's say text danger class will be applied if api response is having id less than zero okay that means minus one and then one more uh, expression i will write here text success this success uh, you know class will be applied if this will come greater than zero okay now save the changes and go to the browser and here i will log in one more time b to e at the rate two one hit enter now see this login successfully come now if i put uh, the invalid credential then how it will look like yeah it will look like this one okay now as of now uh, we have implemented the login you know api endpoints now i want this username to be you know saved in the browser memory if i check this remember me option okay okay before that what i want i want actually if i click the sign in button or press uh, or you know hit enter then the sign in uh, you know button to be disabled and sign in text to be replaced with please wait okay so how do we achieve that part uh, let me come to the login component ts file here i will use sending the uh, boolean type and value would be by default let's say false okay now if i uh you know click enter or you know click uh, the button then this um, as this method actually fires then here i will assign this sending as true value with true value and once we have the response then sending will be false otherwise button would be disabled always okay now go to the button part here already we have one condition here invalid if form is invalid then it will be disabled i will put one more condition that is called or if sending is a flag is set true that means something is happening the in that scenario also this button to be disabled and this uh, sign in and our text would be replaced with if sending is true then please wait otherwise so this text okay now i guess this would be fine now let's save this again one more time p 2 e at the rate 2 1 press and enter yeah it's working cool now i will check this you know after api response we got then i will check if this uh, login input if remember option uh, got selected then i will going to store uh, you know username to browser storage here so in this scenario as i said if uh, i select the login uh, you know remember me option today and if i reopen the browser or uh, maybe today or maybe by tomorrow and you know, a system should automate auto collect the data from the browser memory okay i mean username so for that i would like to store the data inside the local storage so i will add set item so set item basically is asking uh, tell me the key uh, with this key i will store the value later on you can fetch the value from that key only okay 
so here username i would like to add one key name and value would be this value would be login name a username okay let's save it and one more change is there so this username first of all when page and all loads then that time also i will check this local storage dot get item if uh, you know the value is there with key username please you know populate that data okay and it is saying like type string or null is not assignable to type string okay so this username actually uh, we have the string type that means it won't allow you to store the null value but this get item can have null value because if the user you know this key is uh, found in the local storage then it will fetch otherwise it will put null so let me put this but now go to the browser and here you can see the application tab so now go to local storage here you can see the url base url is the localhost 4200 which is my hosting uh, there is no key as of now let me log in select this remember me and do login this refresh isn't sim oh sorry i forget actually that remember me property is not uh binded with this input checkbox let me do that so to remember me save it now select this sign in now check just refresh it okay some console error is coming that is called form tag then either the name attribute must be set okay i don't have the name attribute remember me let's say sign in let's now go to the application tab here now see this username got saved okay now if i uncheck that means i want don't want that in you know, a system will remember my username so in that scenario what i need to do i need to put one more else condition so that i can remove this part from local storage okay else okay now save this see if i refresh the browser see next time and uh, it is auto populating for you uh, i need to put only this but b2 e at the 21 and this time actually i am not selecting so it should be selected right first time so let me do that changes as well add one more key that is called remember me so that it will fetch for next time yeah actually it is saying as uh, we are storing this value to the remem remember me i mean local storage it should always would be the string let me use that template binding ex expression this will populate uh, during page load here i will assign this value as we did for username now save this changes now open the browser uh, as uh, we don't have that uh, first time so let me clear all the things and let me refresh the browser and here i put the to e at the 21 and just click this one now successfully saved now if i check this username and remember me option got saved now refresh the browser again see now if i you know refresh this browser or you can say we close the browser and reopen it see every time it is you know fetching the basic data from the storage okay now you can ask me is it a better uh, way you know to store the data in the browser memory i would say uh, as of now this is true yes because uh, this is not you know sensitive data and uh, if any kind of sensitive data that that uh, i want you to uh, i won't allow you to you know store inside the browser you know memory if 
uh, you feel like it, it is not you know that kind of you know sensitive you can store it and you can fetch it if it is sensitive then uh, you need to call the server every time and you need to you know fetch it otherwise there is no way to you know auto populate and you know, in ui side as of now you know in my experience okay now let me do login one more time and this time i don't want this remember me will select okay now let's save it it's got saved now if i do refresh okay okay let me remove this as well it is not removed on unchecking you know that check box save it two one hit enter again hit enter now refresh see it is not remembering as of now but it is it got removed from everywhere what happened oh okay 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 sorry i made one mistake here logic if remember me is set as yes let me set check this username if username is set yes then i need to do one more time if else or the remember me this logic is this block and uh, this one as well save this save now refresh the page yes i have me uncheck this and p to e at the two one save it yes. now refresh the browser yeah it is working fine as expected okay so this way actually we can implement the login functionality and also one more thing is uh, pending that is you know to store the login token okay so that part i will show you in my next video because in a, after login i will go inside the dashboard there once you have in the dashboard then you need to fetch the user basic details to show the username and their profile picture and all so those things i will show you in my next video so for that till that time stay tuned and be safe Thank you for listening. Have a great day.